So today I'm gonna to share with you the pitch that allowed us to make over a million dollars in Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and how we're gonna do it the opposite way of what we have done in the past. So we used to push a lot, now we try to change the approach based on something I learned from Brian Johnson. If you don't know Brian Johnson, he sold Venmo, his company, he sold it to PayPal for $800 million. And if you see that guy, he's not exactly the most trustworthy looking dude, but I'm a big fan of how he sold. It is very simple, but a bunch of us overlook it and I overlooked it. And after I nailed it, my pitch got so much better. We started closing way more people. So if you don't want to book a call, well, congratulations, you win. This is what we're gonna cover on the call. Brian used to take a hundred dollar bill, go to the stores and say, hey, here's a hundred dollars for one minute of your time. But what did he sell? That's important. Credit card companies are kind of sketchy. They will hide payments along all the finances that by the way, they know you don't want to do, but typically you owe less. So you're paying more. Brian knew that. So he would go to those stores and tell them, here's how much they're charging you. Here's how much I'm gonna charge you. I don't promise anything different, but I do promise honesty. And I'm a big fan of that approach. Analyze the system that your prospects want to buy. If they're buying fitness, if they're buying coaching, analyze where that system fails show it to them don't tell them what we do in our pitch is very similar we lay out what the system looks like as in what are all the other options that you have and then we find where do they fail if you and I are sitting across each other on the table and there's a 10 written on the table I will see 10 but you from that side you would see zero one so what we want to do is we want to bring people to our side of the table so they can see 10 that means we need them to see what we are seeing and we do that with a bunch of analogies along the pitch which I'm gonna show you when we go to the iPad why do we tell so many analogies it's because people are tired people don't want to be promised things they want to be shown things some of my top performing YouTube videos there are writing tweets live and booking calls live which were not scripted they were me kind of thinking on the go and I think that people value when you show them this stuff instead of telling them this stuff this is why the pitch is full of analogies full of references that will make them go and this is kind of the goal ah oh. That's how it works. That's the ideal outcome of this pitch. So with no further ado, let's go to the iPad. So in one sentence, what we do is we help coaches stuck at 10K a month selling their high ticket offer to their audience to get to 30K a month. How do we pitch this? Obviously, we want to know where they're at right now. So typically, the sales call will start with a bunch of questions. So this is what we say in the end. Here is where we put their income. It's usually 10K, right? They're stuck at 10K a month. What they want to do is they want to get to 30K a month. So remember the part where I mentioned that we want to get them to come to our side of the table so they see a 10 and not a 0, 1. This is where that comes in. We want to lay out the rules of the game. And personally, I believe that a really good way to do that is with an analogy. So we start with an analogy and we say, imagine the process people need to go through in order to buy from you. So people need to go from becoming a stranger to becoming a follower to becoming a lead to buyer to tenant. Now a tenant is someone who buys from you over and over again. Now here's where we show them why the system fails. The same system that got you to 10K a month is probably not gonna take you to 30K a month. You need to reinvent the way you do things. This is why. You probably got good at this side of the bridge. You're good at getting followers. You understand that game. You can post consistently, all that jazz. But maybe you kind of struggle with getting leads. And by the way, whatever they say in the sales call, if they struggle with sales or leads, this process is the same, but it's mostly leads people can't get leads so maybe you have a pretty good offer and your clients stay you're good at what you do people just don't know about it the problem here is this side of the bridge is not complete and this is why you're not getting to 30k a month because even though this side of the bridge is loaded you're really good at getting people to follow you you're struggling with lead flow this is the part of the bridge where you need the most work so where do people mess this up they focus on others maybe they are crafting their offer maybe they buy shares have you ever heard about about a bunch of people who buy shares and they never make any money if they understood how to get the lead flow all those storage shares wouldn't go to waste and just being real some of our best sources of leads are our competition because they are growth programs that people join and they're super disappointed and they're like you know what let me just do it right with you guys this time and then they come to us we show them this is why they fail because they were building this out of the bridge but they never had this out of the bridge and this is why they were not making any money so now they're in my side of the table now where do you think you need to work on the most right now? Depending on what they said, we will tell different stories. What stories allows you to do is it allows you to create belief or also eliminate 
opinions, certain beliefs. So stories are really powerful if you use them the right way. And this doesn't take more than like two minutes. So we would say, so your bridge kind of looks like this right now. Let's talk about that. We had a guy, his name was Tom. Tom used to be a physical therapist. He had that in his bio. He said, I can help you recover from injuries. What we realized is this is not going to cut it. When it comes to getting leads, you don't want to be something to everyone. You want to be everything to someone. So we told Tom, you know what? No more physical therapist. Starting today, you're going to be the knee guy. And he became the knee guy. And then slowly, people started associating him with becoming the knee guy. And eventually, he made enough money in two months to quit his nine to five and work on Twitter full time. Because he became that guy, Lee Flo came easy. What we wanna do is we wanna find your unfair advantages so you can become that guy and you start getting leads every day. Depending on what part of the bridge you're missing, we will tell a different story. So for example, if they're struggling with the stranger to follower part of the bridge, we're gonna tell the Tim story. So what's interesting about Tim is he got to 10K followers. He was making decent money, but then he got banned. He lost it all. After he lost the 10K, he said, you know what? I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it the right way. And now he got to 12K followers in five months, but he made 20X the money because there's a difference between attracting fish. It's a bunch of people who are like, oh, I'll definitely work with you sometime. And they never buy. What we did with Tim is we said, why are we giving them fish bait? Let's focus on whale bait. And we started posting content that was more whale baity. Tell the truth but make it fascinating. So now we lay out the rules of the game, but eventually some objections will pop out. We're not gonna solve every single objection, but I'm just gonna show you how we address the four most popular ones. The most popular one is, oh, I'm buying shares, I'm getting people to share my content. Then we tell my story, right? So when I had 70,000 followers, I met this guy that had 900. I was making 30K a month. That guy was also making 30K a month. And I went down that route. I started paying people for shares. I started paying for growth and I honestly regret it let's say you have your shot of espresso the people who sell access to their audience can't monetize it and the people who can monetize it don't sell access to their audience what does that mean about the people they're funneling your way it's it's not a shot of espresso it's water and then more water and what that happens is it totally dilutes your brand people may disagree in cold coffee and hot coffee you know what they don't disagree on? Coffee. People want coffee. How do we solve the second objection? Which is, I'm gonna run ads, I'm working with this agency, I'm gonna do this. And what we tell them is the analogy of the Panama Canal. Let's say you could own 500 feet of land anywhere in the world. Where would you place it? You could place it on the desert and that would make you a whopping zero dollars a year. Or you could place it in the middle of the Panama Canal. And that same piece of land would make you four billion dollars a year. Where you stand matters. When you have ads, you're in the middle, your prospects are to the sides and you go to them. Now, no hate on those, it can make you money, but check this out. Wouldn't it be way better if they came to you? This is outreach, this is audience. And both can make you money, but only one of them compounds. Now the third objection that we get, I'm gonna work with a ghostwriter, valid objection. But let me tell you what ghostwriters do. You are this block of knowledge, of wisdom. If you hire a ghostwriter, you probably make more money than your ghostwriter, right? They have a certain perspective that has not been unlocked. The issue is that they're gonna put everything you told them and put it in an engaging template, right? Because they value their engagement more than your network because one is visible, the other is invisible. So in the end, you end up with this when you could have been this. What happened to all this potential energy you had? It's wasted. And by the way, the people you want to network with, they're smart. They know when you're using a ghostwriter and they don't like it. Have you ever read someone's tweets and you're like, oh, this guy probably has a ghostwriter, but you like the guy. You're like, man, I want to read him, not his ghostwriter. And the fourth objection is actually the writing communities. And this one's the easiest to solve because we just tell them what Phil told us. So Phil joined our community and he said, bro, I paid so much money just for someone to tell me, write fluffy content and get distribution on it. Let me guess, they told you to just write consistently, stick to the process and eventually something will happen, right? If you join a program, you wanna join a program for speed. What you're buying here is speed. How about we actually do what's working? So this is where we start closing in on the pitch. So remember about our bridge we had in the beginning? Okay, to build a bridge, you need two things. First one is you need the blueprint and then you need the building and that becomes a cycle. First, you gotta have the blueprint and then you gotta build the thing and have the blueprint and build the thing. 
for the first week or so we're gonna focus on the blueprint we're gonna be like how do we get you quick wins so you can start closing clients now and then after that together we're gonna analyze your bridge and be like we need this many columns we need this many things and we're gonna have a weekly checklist for you to accomplish if you do those things then we've seen it over and over with our 100 plus clients this thing works and this is actually why real talk our testimonials are super boring because they go well i just talked to the checklist what else do you want me to talk about along that process you're gonna have a ton of things so the first one is you're gonna get an assigned bully your bully is your customer success manager and she's gonna bully you into making money and just real talk we do a lot in this program but we do what's needed and we don't do what's not so she's gonna bully you into doing the things that you need to do in order to grow the business you're also gonna get access to slack you're gonna get coaches you're gonna get a community of 31k plus on average a follower count and it's never a bad idea to be in a community where there are other winners involved. You're gonna get personalized help and you also get competitiveness. Something people tell us is first thing they do in the morning is they check the wins channel and they see that he's winning, they're winning, everyone's winning and they're like, oh, fuck, I'm slacking, I need to win. You're gonna get people at your level so you can compete, below your level so you can review the fundamentals and above you so you can learn from them and all that community that is what you're getting access to we build your bridge from 10 to 30k a month and you get all those things along the way now we have found that people are not afraid of paying they're afraid of committing so we don't tell them you're going to be locked up in a 12 month contract we just show them these are your next 90 days on day zero to seven we're going to go over your blueprint we're all going to get together and look at your offer your positioning what's your content strategy and give you an actionable game plan that you're like i know exactly Exactly what to do you're gonna be clear on what to do 7 to 30 want to get you some quick wins even though the bridge may not be complete there are some things that we can edit inside your bridge that may be able to get you some clients quick 7 to 90 we're gonna go deep in bridge building whatever happens at the end if you still want to stay with us to help you scale the bridge to 50 100k a month or you're like you know what guys i'm good my bridge is complete i know what to do regardless our goal is at the end of day 90 we want you to have a complete bridge that you can use to turn people from stranger to follower to lead to buyer to tenant and make money and get to 30k a month what questions do you have we will answer those questions we'll recap everything we told them to remind them of the value because everything is expensive without context and then we drop the price and that's how it goes so this is our pitch take whatever you want for yours hopefully that's helpful if you're a coach stuck at 10k a month selling your high ticket offer to your audience and you want to get to 30k a month look for my stuff on twitter or instagram or linkedin wherever send me a dm and let's chat and remember likes and cash